the longest bony fish in the world, the doomsday fish that every time before a disaster strikes, it appear in the ocean. We can't help but wonder if Oceangate's Titan on its historic dive into the North Atlantic might have had a close encounter with these elusive giants, and what it might mean for our understanding of the deep and its connection to the world above. In Japanese folklore, this fish is known as a messenger from the Sea God's Palace and has gained a reputation as a doomsday harbinger of sorts. Join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the secrets of the doomsday fish in the Atlantic Ocean. Also stick around to the end of the video, we are going to give away 5 Titanic posters to you for free. The giant oarfish, also known as the doomsday fish, was originally described by the Norwegian biologist Peter Ascanius in 1772. It is the longest bony fish alive. It can reach a length of over 50 feet and weigh as much as 600 pounds. With a slender silver body, this creature has long red fins that resemble oars on its sides and a red dorsal fin along its entire length and crowns its head like a crest. The oarfish swims vertically, with its head up and tail down. It can also move both horizontally and vertically in the water. Not a lot is known about the conservation status of giant oarfish because they have rarely been observed alive. Although fishermen do occasionally pull them up in nets as unwanted bycatch, people have tried eating them, but their flesh is flabby and gooey. Oarfish have occasionally been seen at the water's surface, but scientists think they are pushed there by storms or strong currents, or they end up there when in distress or dying. A sputtering oarfish may look like a terrifying sea monster, but it is not thought to pose a danger to people or boaters. Unlike many bony fish, oarfish lack scales. Instead, they have tubercules and a silvery coat of a material called guanine. Although they are adapted to survive under high pressure, at the surface their skin is soft and easily damaged. Its frequent depths is around 3,300 feet, found throughout the deep seas of the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. The oarfish's surface excursion is also perhaps a bad omen for us, given that some locals believe these denizens, which reside at depths of between 656 and 3,200 feet below the ocean's surface, are a sign that a disaster on the horizon. Back in 2010, at least a dozen oarfish were reported to have washed up onto Japan's coastline. Not long after, in March 2011, a severe earthquake hit Japan's Fukushima, lasted approximately six minutes, simultaneously triggering a deadly tsunami, which killed more than 20,000 people. Before a deadly 2017 earthquake in the southern Philippines, six oarfish were spotted days prior. The powerful quake hit roughly 14 kilometers northwest of Surigao City. At least 30 aftershocks have rattled the surrounding areas in the hours following the quake, the institute measured. And, just a couple of years later in early 2019, at least three oarfish were found washed up on Japan's shores just months before the Yamagata earthquake and blackout triggering a tsunami advisory for three prefectures in Japan. A tsunami with a height of 10 centimeters was reported in Niigata and the earthquake damaged a total of 149 homes. Last month in Taiwan, divers were mesmerized after encountering a giant oarfish that had mysterious holes in its body, as seen in a video making waves on Instagram. In the enchanting footage, taken off the coast of Ruifeng, divers can be seen encircling the shimmery silver critter as it hovers near the surface. At one point, one of the divers reaches out and touches the alleged doomsaying denizen of the deep. Divers estimated that the earthquake fish measured around six and a half feet long, which, while big, doesn't compare to their max size of 56 feet long, the longest of any bony fish. Unfortunately, the oarfish's journey into the shallows, while cool to see, perhaps did not bode well for the beast. It must have been dying, so it swam into shallower waters, diving instructor Wang Chengru told Jam Press of the serpentine sea beast, which was the first one he encountered in all his years of scuba diving. The critter also had mysterious craters across its body, which experts believe to be the work of a cookie-cutter shark. This fun-sized predator, known for coring chunks out of large fish, cetaceans, and even nuclear submarines, although the latter is likely a case of mistaken identity. As we conclude our journey into the mysterious world of the doomsday fish and the enigmatic ocean depths, we can't help but wonder if Ocean Gate's Titan on its dive into the Atlantic might have had a close encounter with these elusive giants. Each time this fish appears, history suggests that a disaster happens. While we may not have definitive answers regarding the Titan's encounter with the doomsday fish, the allure of the deep sea and its secrets continues to captivate our imagination. And now time for the giveaway. We'll be giving away five more Titanic posters that is going to be shipped to your location anywhere in the world. To participate, simply leave a comment down below telling us what do you think of that flight. We're excited to hear about your top picks.
Once you've commented, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have notifications turned on so you won't miss out on any future giveaways or videos from us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. The winner will be randomly selected and announced, so stay tuned for that. If you're the lucky winner, we'll get in touch with you directly to arrange the shipping. Also, if you like the poster and want to order it, you can buy it now from the description link down below. Good luck everyone, and we can't wait to read your comments. From everyone here, thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep the passion alive. Until the next video, take care and see you soon. Goodbye.